Good morning, you guys, and happy Friday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. My hair is a mess, so really, really please do not mind me. Good morning. Back, welcome back. Um, so today we are making um, a cabbage soup, but I'm actually adding corned beef. I um, thought I'd share with you. This is my first time trying it, so... You guys will have to let me know if you have you tried it or if you have a different cabbage and corned beef soup recipe you want to share. So I have two of these diced tomatoes. I have two of these great northern beans. You can use any white beans. I'm kind of combining like two different recipes. Um, I have a thing of vegetable broth. I did spray my crock pot um and I just sprayed it with this and then um I got this at Walmart it is a slow cooker ready meal solution corned beef kit and yeah so and it has directions for if you want to use the instapot or if you want to use the crock pot so it's super easy they give you this seasoning packet and then they give you this package full of it's a little bit of cabbage carrots and potatoes and then um they give you a pack of corned beef i'm going to rinse off my vegetables and my meat because my meat is very um bloody <laughs> i don't want to use that word but it's like yeah, it, it's not really fat, and I, I, it's not fatty. I thought I would have to cook them separately, but according to these directions, you just cook it all the same. And I'm just gonna add the tomatoes and beans probably in the last hour. I don't know, I don't know if I should put them in in the beginning or not, but I really, I don't want the beans to be too mushy. Um, and we'll see if we use one can or two. So, um, let's get going. It is on warm. I'm going to pop it on high. You're going to cook this baby on for six hours. So, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off my vegetables and meat. Okay, so I've rinsed off all my veggies. I'm gonna put the cabbage on the bottom. Kind of like space it out. Cause we're gonna put the meat on top. Now you guys will have to let me know, do you guys like cabbage? Um, I honestly am not a big fan of cabbage. Um, I like cabbage um, and like salads and stuff, but, and, and maybe in egg rolls, <laughs> but um, I, other than that, I don't really like cabbage. My, I grew up with my grandpa fixing um, 
fixing cabbage and, and sauerkraut in the crock pot and, or in the pressure cooker. And uh, yeah, so I grew up with a lot of that. <laughs> okay, I also have my potatoes. I'm just gonna leave them as is, honestly. Then I have my carrots. I'm just gonna put those on top. Thank God it's trash day. That's all I have to say. All right, so I have the vegetables laid out with the corned beef on top. I'm gonna go ahead and put in this whole thing of vegetable broth. Just gonna soak it all over. Does anybody actually like sauerkraut? Because, um, like I said, I grew up on that. Um, just maybe a little too much. <laughs> yeah. Not fun. Okay. So we're going to add the seasoning pack to it. And then basically that's it. After, of course, we add our tomatoes. Well, yeah. 
And I guess I might as well add everything together, right? The heck, I just broke it off. Oh my gosh. So here's the fun fact story time about me. So on one side of my family is Irish and the other side is Italian. And then I have some family from that have Spanish heritage in them. This thing is like being so ridiculous. <laughs> I already got it halfway open. It's like not moving. Oh my gosh. drain these. Now, tomatoes. Much easier this time. Wash those. I'm gonna drain. Oh, they're, oh crap. Really isn't much to drain. Of course, I had to wear my expensive shirt. Okay, so this is how she looks. All prettied up and everything. It's on high. I'm gonna check on it a little bit and stir it. Um, for now, I just put one can of each in there. Okay. So let's sit down and chat before I get distracted. I do have to finish <laughs> some work, but uh, while we were on the topic of St. Patrick's Day, um, I thought you might be interested in hearing the 
this story and sorry I'm trying to think of my password I can't talk and think at the same time no okay um thought you might be interested in hearing a story so like I said um half of my family is on the Irish side, half my family is on the Italian side and some have Spanish in them. And um, so we always grew up, you know, like, um, I don't know. I, I don't wanna say true um, Irish people, but um, my grandma and grandpa were huge into like all the food and all the fest festivities and all that good stuff. Um, I heard a story on the radio today about the original story of St. Patrick's. So if you didn't hear, um, Patrick was, um, he was held captive for a while. And then later on, he ended up revisiting his captors and spoke about the word of Jesus and, you know, just trying to spread the word of Jesus and, you know, trying to spread the faith. I don't know. I don't know what else you want to say. I know not everybody's believers, but I think it's um, an interesting story. Like, you would think if you got held captive, you know, why would you go back to your enemy and, like, you know, they will, you know, you may not be a different person now, but I'm a different person because of what I went through, and so I'm saying, like, I forgive you, it's okay, let me tell you about the word of Jesus, and all that good stuff. So, I don't know. I thought that was interesting. And another interesting story is my grandparents always told me that my, okay, so my great-grandparents, their last name was Roskin, hence where the Irish name comes from. Um, and uh, so if my, I'm trying to think of how many grades there are. If my Great, great, great grandma, one of those greats, did not um, miss the Titanic, we all wouldn't be here. So basically, she um, was late to um, travel on the Titanic. And we all know that story. We all know how that literally goes down how how everything happened you know um and so i thought it was really interesting i'm like oh my gosh what what would happen if like she actually boarded the the titanic and then you know would we still be here would you know would she have even survived that's just crazy because she was late and missed the titanic Hence the reason we're here. I don't know. That just blows my mind. Like, oh my gosh. Thinking back. Because I love the story of the Titanic. And no, not just because, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet pulled an amazing job of acting it. But um, I find the history interesting. And that's that's just, I don't know. That's That's a cool fact. So, if you, you know, weren't aware, um, yeah, most of my family is Irish. Um, hence also all the freckles that I have. I used to actually not mind my freckles, but I literally have so many. Um, I don't, I don't even know anymore. Like, I'm like, why? Why do I have to have so many freckles like on my face on my arms on my legs 
crazy. But anyway, um, I will let you guys know how the soup comes out. I'm going to keep checking it every couple of hours and stirring it and seeing if I want to add anything else. Um, I'm tempted to add spinach only because I have to use up the spinach in my fridge, but I don't want to add too much, you know. So, and also I've been in really, really like soupy mood lately. I don't even know if that's a word, but I've been in the mood for soup. So every time I'm in the office and uh, I usually go down to the cafeteria once a week. And so lately I've been having like whatever soup is on hand. So, um, well, not all the time, but if it looks good. So like um, the other day I saw a chicken, creamy chicken and poblano soup um it looked good but i'm not I, i'm not a big like spicy spicy fan so i'm afraid the poblano might be too much for me <laughs> um and then there's been chicken noodle soup there's been like um chunky vegetable soup with it which honestly i have been a big fan of like there's just chunky tomatoes and peppers and there'd be chicken and pasta which was kind of like the one I had yesterday um it, it was like a creamy and they had like thick shell um noodles and then there was chicken and there was a bunch of chunky vegetables I forgot what the soup was called it was really really good I wasn't too sure about the noodles I would have changed out the noodles but other than that um, and that had spinach in it, and it was actually pretty good. So I'm like, mm, I don't know if spinach would be too much, you know, or if I should just leave it. I'll probably just leave it the way it is. I've been trying to use my spinach up in smoothies. I had a smoothie this morning and shared with the girls, and uh, it's funny because Maribel will drink my smoothies, but if I tell her there's spinach in there, she won't drink it. And so she was like, oh, did you put spinach in your smoothie today? Or what she, she said, um, did you put that green stuff in your smoothie again? And I'm like, I put chocolate and I put fruit in it. <laughs> Which is true. I put frozen fruit. I put vanilla yogurt. Sp and I put spinach. Um, oat milk. And chocolate protein powder. And so, I mean, I did put chocolate and fruit in it, but also I added some spinach, too. <laughs> uh, anyway, fun, 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 fun with kids. And um, I know nobody else is going to eat this soup. I'm going to my dad's tonight, and um, me and him and Caroline are going to eat it. And the baby will have a little bit, but um, other than that, I really... Yeah, I, I, that's the one bad thing is that my family is so picky, but whatever, we deal with it, right? Okay, well, I'm going to stop lapping. You've heard my story time. You've seen what the soup look like, looks like now. We will check back in a little later to see how it looks, and then later we'll do a taste test. Okay, you guys, so it's been five hours and I am checking on the soup now it's been smelling up the house like really really good so you see everything's cooked down the carrot carrots are soft and the potatoes are soft the corned beef itself um doesn't really break apart easily but it does cut easily which is nice so I still have it on high um, but I fixed myself a little plate and I'm about to taste test it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little salt and pepper on it. Let's try this out. Tomato, carrot, cabbage, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm going to eat it anyway.
That corned beef tastes really good. That first bite of cabbage was really strong, but I don't know if I just accidentally put too much pepper on it. That's really good. I'm still gonna let everything cook for an hour still. The carrots taste really good. I like my carrots to be a little bit more softer though. Hmm, you know what, we didn't try them. A bean. I wanna see if it's like too mushy or if it's perfect. That's just really good. I'm gonna get a little bit, let it get a little bit more softer. And I think it'll be perfect in an hour. So I'm just gonna turn it on um, warm for now. Cause I don't want it to be piping hot when I put it into containers. <laughs> So, I think I put too much pepper. It's really good though. Really good. Mm. 